Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be taking a look at a sample pod device that was sent by Omnipod. Omnipod are a company that provide a tubeless insulin pump system. I've been using a tubed or wired insulin pump system for two years now, so I wanted to check out the wireless Omnipod device. So one of the main benefits is the fact that the Omnipod doesn't require tubing. So one of the problems with tubing is it has the potential to catch onto uh, door handles, it has the potential to be pulled whilst you're sleeping. And funny enough, it's something that doesn't have happen very often. Just last night, I pulled the tubing whilst I was trying to sleep and pulled the cannula out. So my plan is to um, use the Omnipod device in November once I have a renewal. Uh, with my diabetes specialist. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to see how it feels using the device. So let's just open up the packaging. One of the main things uh, with this pod is the fact that it does not have a needle. So you won't have experience of how it feels for the needles to go through, but here it's called a pod experience kit. So let's just open up the device. Over here, I haven't read any of the instructions, um, so this isn't going to be a review per se, just my experiences of using the device. So you've got instruction manual with it, and you've got one pod device with this. So I'm just going to open it up. There's an alcohol swab, so I'm just gonna get rid of this box. There's an alcohol swab here, uh, just to clean up the area. I'm going to try it over here. So currently I've got my Freestyle Libra and my Bluetooth transmitter sitting on top over there. So I'm going to try it on the other side and see what it feels like. So one of the main things that put me off this using this device is the fact that the entire pod will contain the insulin, whereas normally my insulin is held within the insulin pump. So with my current insulin pump, the insulin's held within the pump. With this, the insulin will be held in the actual pod. So I thought maybe that will feel like it's uh, chunky um, and it may give me some problems if I'm actually using it day to day. So this experience kit's really important to allow me to see if it is actually bigger than I expected. So as you can see at the top, um, it says demo use only. And it doesn't actually include the needle that would normally be included with the Omnipods. So I'm just going to take off the adhesive over here. And wipe the area clean with the alcohol swab. Just allow that to dry for a few seconds and take off this adhesive. I'm just taking a look at the pictures over here to see which way around it should be worn. So interestingly enough on all of the pictures, people are wearing it in different ways. Um, I'm going to try Vertically on the arm pod window can be positioned up or down. So it's completely up to you which way you want to apply the pod. I'm going to try using this way as shown in the picture. So I'm going to put it up this way as shown in the picture. And let's take a look. So like I said to you before, there's no needle so it won't pierce the skin. The main purpose of this demo device is to see how it feels having the pod device on for over the next few days. So I'm going to be wearing it for the next few days and I'm going to give you my review and my experience of what it's like to wear the Omnipod device over the next few days. Day three update using the Omnipod experience kit. So this is day three using the experience kit. And this is me really comparing it to the AccuCheck Insight, which includes a tube. I've been using the AccuCheck Insight for 
a few years now. Comparing it to that, I've had both on during the past three days because of the fact that the AccuCheck Insight is actually administering my insulin. And this is just an experience kit, so it doesn't actually include a cannula, so it doesn't actually pierce the skin. Um, it's more, from my understanding, it's more to have a feel of what it'd be like carrying the device for the past three days. So I can't give you a complete insight because of course it hasn't pierced my skin. And sometimes if you've got a cannula in your stomach, you can feel some discomfort. So that gives you a better idea of the discomfort that you may feel. However, the reason why I think Omnipod are sending these devices to people is because often people think that the device is bulky. I've always thought that the device looks quite bulky and if you're carrying the majority of your insulin in the device, um, it just, it must feel like it's just such a bulky device when you're carrying it around and I think I'd probably knock it and rip it off the skin. I've had it on for three days, um, showered with it on, I've not noticed anything different. Um, by not noticing anything different, in many cases, I've not even noticed that it's there. Also, I'd want to highlight the fact that this video is not sponsored. Omnipod are sending free uh, experience kits to any type one diabetic out there. So it is really surprising for me, the fact that I've just not noticed that it's there. Um, I am due for a renewal in November and I'm definitely looking at the possibility of an Omnipod. But I have been looking at it for a while and that's because the tube system that I have often gets caught on a lot of things. In my kitchen, it often gets caught on the doorknobs. I have had opportunities where I've actually ripped the cannula off because it's been caught whilst I'm in a rush and then it just literally pulls it out of my stomach, which is obviously just a horrible experience in itself. I've also had times where it's actually been pulled off during my sleep because I move around while I sleep. So definitely a tubeless insulin pump device is something that I'd really be interested in. So this is my experience after three days using the Omnipod device. Once I do try it out uh, with a cannula, then I'd love to make a video showing my experience. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe.